Uh, so next week, there's going to be a pro-abortion speaker here talking about how abortion is a moral good from a Christian perspective. How do you, uh, <laughs> yeah. how do you argue with someone who has such an extreme permission about abortion? Well, I have an extreme position about abortion, which is that it's bad to kill babies after they're born or as they're being born or just before they're born or really any time before that they're born. Um, I think that extreme position is easy to hold and easily defensible. The, the question you'll have to ask is what that person's premises are. Because there are two points to that topic. One, that abortion is a moral good. And two, that it is Christian to kill babies. I seem to recall some verses of uh, scripture coming from uh, oh, what's a guy a guy named Jesus Christ, who talked about uh, he'll hold you accountable for whatever you do to the least of these, you know, and tie a millstone around your neck, and it'd be better for, right that that guy. Uh, so I'd be I'd be curious as to what he says. I've never heard a coherent argument for abortion that did not also imply that it would be perfectly fine to kill other various human demographics. One of the arguments that cynical people make for abortion is that it's good because these kids, they'll all be on welfare and probably grow up and commit crime. And this is a very racist argument because everyone who makes that argument is saying that it's good to kill the little black kids, but you wouldn't want to kill the precious little white kids who grew up in the suburbs. And the question you have to ask him is, Oh, which young black man in an inner city would you be willing to apply that logic to at the age of 24? And look him in the eye, because they're never called out on the absolute racial bigotry of it all. In New York City, more black babies are killed in the womb than are born. That is horrific, and future generations will look on that barbarity with great moral opprobrium, and will look on the people who advance that with great moral opprobrium. And if this fellow is a Christian, then when he gets to St. Peter's Gate someday, I have a feeling that the eternal judge is not going to look very well on him spouting horrific heresy that has led people possibly of good faith astray. Uh, he, will, he will meet the millstone <laughs> in, in the next world, and it would be better for him to correct his views in the present. All of that is to say, you should always take the level-headed approach. Do not, you'll notice I'm, I'm not uh, yelling or screaming about this man. I'm not yelling or screaming, even about abortion, even as the governor of Virginia says we should kill babies after they're born. Because the truth is on your side. You don't need to pretend that this is some passionate interest battle that is brutal and unreasoned. For him it is. For you it's not. Uh, so I would calmly rip apart his arguments and uh, then I would advise him to go have a quick confession and, <laughs> and repent before the judgment day. Yeah. Thank you.